Here we're looking at uh, GLD on the 60 minute. I think this really gives a pretty good uh, flavor of what's going on here. You could see the, uh, the correction going here, still seeing this uh, kind of go into this wedge pattern, um, but you also see divergence that's starting to happen here. Looks like it's really trying to kind of come out of this. We talked about this being really important of it trying to kind of hold uh, this lower level. 124 was initial target. We felt we could go a little lower, but uh, based upon what we're looking at, it seems like it's trying to improve. Uh, I would expect some kind of, if we're going to start to see some kind of resistance could happen at this 126.50 uh, and maybe a move back lower into the, say, 124. But uh, I think it should try to hold that and then try to make the, the, the move back up in the 127.50 level. I mean, it does look like it's kind of going through this correction action still, uh, but there's divergence here that so we could be seeing this trend starting to weaken up a little bit as it's trying to recover. Uh, and it's going to be it's going to be important it does so. But I do think that uh, it's improved a great deal. Let's quickly look at the da the daily here, because I think that that's really crucial. See, this one really, lo I think this looks really uh, pretty nice, especially in the fact that it's holding this 50-day moving average. We saw a slight violation. We talked about the 124 level. It held it exactly, uh, you know, within 10 cents. We hit uh, 123.90 and um, saw the big bounce off of that range. And we started to see this accelerate and start to kind of move higher. And uh, I think it's doing, you know, very well there. Um, we are seeing um, divergence in the, um, you know, we're seeing a nice little bounce back uh, but overall I still think that we're seeing this uh, try to recover a little bit but uh, there was some weakness as it tried to make that swing so when we see this kind of recovery it could be very early in the move so we kind of look at got to look at it this and say okay well are we really seeing some change here well I think we, we could be because you're seeing this volume jump out I mean I think we're starting to see some kind of improvement in this swing that's why when we started seeing this gap down uh, it was it took me a little bit by surprise I must say um, you know it makes sense that we were seeing that as as it tried to come uh, a little bit past the prior, uh, you know, star that we had there, and it kind of did the similar fashion. You see the gap down, so it's characteristic of it. But was interesting as you look at it, it's kind of like an ABC pattern. That's really what we see—a very, very close to that. So now we're seeing it, uh, you know, quick little correction after a five-wave move. You can see one, two, three, two, three, four five move and it was pretty I think pretty significant so then you're seeing your corrective move so we could really be seeing a longer term move as this could be a one wave right and you see your correction and then you see your longer term move coming out of this so this could really be turning the corner is I guess what I'm getting at but again just like anything it has to kind of prove itself so any breakthrough the 124 I would I would negate uh, that uh, potential but overall I do think that we could be seeing a very bullish move in gold over the longer term uh, we're gonna quickly look at the weekly because I think that's really significant here um, let's just look at that. You could see why I'm t saying it's significant. Look at this um, this divergence, or at least you know you want to watch for that. See, look at what we have here. The concern here, and I've I've stated this in the past, is we could be really seeing just corrective action. And a lot of times these correction actions, um, they are uh, you know usually four waves or uh, you know a two wave, but more than likely a four wave. And um, a lot of t every once in a while you'll see that kind of turn the corner and change the trend direction because you're starting to get um, a recovery. In other words, here's a wave five, um, and I'm not saying that is a wave five. I'm just saying is you know it looks more like uh, one you know corrective wave one two three. But what I'm saying is, say for example, that's a five, and then you see say something that's starting to try to recover, and you see hey that's your one two, and then three you start to see it kind of come out. So these kind of wedge patterns can be reversal patterns, is what I'm getting at. Uh, so you would you really would want to see that just the confirmation is the one third. You break the, through the 135, I think you see a very, very you know, long move. But what I'm getting at here is you see the divergence on the longer term, and then you see it trying to improve. And then the 50-day moving average trying to hold that a little bit. We also see some decreased volume coming in here, so it seems like it's quieting up, and I think it's getting ready to potentially turn if it's going to do it. But I would watch that 124 level. We start to break that. I think we easily go to 120 or lower, um, because very likely you could see the continuation of longer-term trend. So we got to watch for that potential and any reversal in here, I think that could be a very long lasting move.